Hello, this is Tom, and in this video I'm going to show you how to touch off a standard turn tool in the Z-axis and the X-axis on a CNC lathe. Let's see how that's done. Uh, we're going to start out by selecting MDI mode, and then we'll select the program screen. I'm going to key in T0101. That calls up tool 1 and brings in offset 1. We hit cycle start and that's how you want to select your tool. And we're going to put it in manual mode. I'm going to select the axis and we're going to manually move the axis or the tool to the face. Right, we're turning on the spindle. I'm going to approach the face real careful and we're going to touch in. And once we touch in, we're going to go ahead and do a complete 100% cleanup on the face. All right, so we want to make sure that we are completely cleaned up. And at that point, you leave Z right there, turn the spindle off, select the offset page, and hit Z, zero, and measure. Now, before you hit measure, make sure that you got the right field highlighted, which is the z-axis field on tool number one, and you can see it changed and updated the location of the tool tip on tool number one. All right, on this second method, if you cannot touch the face or remachine the face, we're going to touch off on a finished face with a piece of paper. We're just going to approach it until it grabs the piece of paper and then we'll click a couple of thousands into the paper because that's about how thick the paper is and at that point you again do Z zero measure and it will update the Z location of the tool So let's talk about setting the x-axis. We're going to turn the spindle on and we're just going to touch off on the OD. All right, we're going to come back in front of the part, dial in a little bit, and we're just going to expose just enough to get a measurement. Make sure you're cleaning up 100% all the way around. Stop the spindle. Now make sure you don't move your x-axis, only the z. We're going to move z out of the way so we can get our micrometer in there. And we're going to get an accurate measurement. Let's see what that is. Alright, that looks to be 804. So with the tool sitting at 804, going back to the offset page we'll make sure we get the x-axis selected and we're going to hit x.804 and we're going to select measure so now it's going to update the x-axis and now the machine knows that the tool tip is sitting at 804 alright that's it for this video I hope that was helpful to you if you have any questions, leave me a comment, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.